In this video, we will be showing you how to edit, insert, and delete cues. To edit a single cue, go to Edit Playback and then select the location of the cue you want to change. After selecting your location, you will see that some of the bottom buttons on the faders have begun to flash. The faders above these flashing lights now correspond to all the individual cues in that particular cue list, or chase. By bringing up each of these faders, you will see each of these recorded cues come up live. For our example, we will make a color change to the second cue of our playback. To update the cue, we will bring up Fader 2 to see the cue live, and then we will add some color into our fixtures. When we are done, we will select Q2 on the touchscreen, and we will double check our recording mode, which in most cases, you will want to use Changed Attribute. Then press Save Q. In the dialog box that appears, you will have four options. The first is Cancel. The second is Overwrite, which will overwrite all the data in the existing queue with the new information you have just created. The third option is Merge. This will take the fixture information we have just created and merge it into the existing queue. This is useful when adding fixtures into existing queues. The last option is Save as New Queue, which will take your new programming and create a new queue at the bottom of the list. For our example, since we are adding in a color change to the fixtures already in the queue, we will choose Merge. Now, let's add a queue. For this queue, we are going to take our wings and strobe them in between the second and third queue. The easiest way to accomplish this is by backing out of Edit Playback. We will choose our group for the wings and make sure the dimmer is at full and dial in a random strobe on the strobe attribute. Now, we will re-enter Edit Playback and select Q3 on the touchscreen and press Add Q. This is also where you want to make sure that you have changed your recording mode to Fixture because you are adjusting every fixture in the playback. Now you will see that the wings are inserted into playback as Q2.5. To renumber your cues, we have made this very simple and all you need to do is press renumber. You will see that the cues have all been changed to dot zero for all you OCD LDs out there. To remove the cue we just created, all you have to do is select it and press delete cue. We will not do this as we want to use this in our next playback. 